What's up guys and welcome back to Soft and Other Solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty Warzone Rebirth Island. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people are busy playing this right now and people are grinding it and so am I, but I'm playing a lot of Call of Duty Modern Warfare, like Search and Destroy and all that stuff. But I made a video for you guys today to show you what you can do to get the best FPS out of this game and I actually took a screenshot while being in the game, just solo queuing, just to tweak some settings to get the best FPS. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the screenshot I took and I'm doing about 154. The max it will hit while I'm playing is 171 with the settings I'm using right now. You will not go under 100. You will not go under 150, 40. You will not go under that FPS. Okay, it does depend on the machine that you're running. So this FPS that you're looking at over here, 154, is the settings I'm using. Now, a lot of people might ask me like, look, Yo, dude, the color looks really, really good. Are you using NVIDIA filters? I don't use NVIDIA filters. Unfortunately, I don't because what it does is it actually uses your graphics card and it will take away FPS in your game and it will make your game run a little bit worse than what it can. Okay, there's simple steps you can take to make this look like this and make the game look really good while you are playing the game. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this, the color. And then I'm going to show you the best settings for Rebirth right now inside the game's settings. All right, so let me just jump out of this. So if you're a NVIDIA user, stay tuned because you're going to right-click on your desktop. You're going to go to NVIDIA control panel and you're going to open it up like this. And you're going to go to adjust desktop color settings. Now you're going to go to your main display. If you don't have multiple monitors like me, then just go to your main display and then go to digital vibrance and then change it from wherever it is of its stock. Change it to about 80 85, 90, it makes the game look really good. Just click on the picture three and then move this and you'll actually see the digital vibrant change inside the picture, all right? Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna change the digital vibrance for everything. Your gaming, your when you watch movies, whatever game you are going to be playing, it will make the digital vibrance look much, much better. The sweet spot, as they call it, mine's 85. Find out where yours is because your monitor might have buttons that you press to make the vibrance change and whatever but you can change it here and then also on your display itself to make the game look much much better right you just say apply and once you're done with that let's jump straight into the game let me show you the best settings you can be using right now for rebirth to get the best fps all right let's jump straight into that all right ladies and gentlemen as you can see i'm in call of duty warzone right now i'm doing about 100 and you can say 160 155 there around that's the fps i'm doing right now in the lobby okay now, I'm doing more FPS while playing the game. A lot of people keep asking me, yo, dude, you just show the FPS that you're doing inside the lobby. You never show what you do inside the game, like playing Rebirth itself. What's the FPS that you do when you're playing Rebirth? Now, that screenshot I just showed you, that's the FPS I'm doing with these settings that I'm using right now. So all you're going to need to do is go to options over here, go to display. These are obviously your first settings you're going to be changing. You're going to put this on full screen. Keep it at full screen. If you're running a budget gaming PC or a low-end gaming PC, then go ahead and change it to either one of these two. Find out which one is the best for you, which one gives you more FPS. But if you're running a good enough machine, like a laptop, gaming laptop, gaming PC, whatever the case might be, put it on full screen. It's the best for your FPS and input latency. This is obviously your monitor that you're going to be running, and this is obviously your graphics card. So you're going to select your dedicated graphics card. This is the refresh rate of your monitor. So depending on what refresh rate your monitor is, you're going to go ahead and change it to the refresh rate of your monitor. This is obviously the resolution of your monitor. Now you can change this to as high as you want it to go. So a lot of people will run really good screens, like 4K screens, you know, whatever the case may be, 2K, whatever. Uh, 1080p, I'm playing my game at 1080p, I have a 4K TV that I'm playing this game on, so I don't, don't want to put it on 4K because I'm going to lose FPS obviously, so I put it at 1080p, the game looks really really good at 1080p, and I leave it like this, okay? Dynamic resolution, disable this, you don't need it. This, just leave it like this. Now I've changed a lot of settings like this, and I showed my friends in my Discord to go ahead and do the same steps, and they cannot thank me enough for giving them these settings that I'm giving you guys today, all right? They are doing like 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 FPS more in their games when I show them what to do, all right? Aspect ratio, automatic. Keep it on automatic. It will automatically pick up what monitor you're running. Depending on if you're running a widescreen, ultra wide, whatever the case might be, you can go ahead and select this, but I do recommend keeping it automatic. V-Sync, this is 
basically what this is, it's screen tearing. So as you can see, it actually shows you what screen tearing looks like. Now, if you do not get screen tearing at all, you don't, okay? Then disable this. If you want to cap your FPS at the refresh rate of your monitor, because a lot of people do that, okay? I know a lot of people do that. Let's say you have a 120 hertz monitor. You want to cap your FPS to hit 120 and that's it. Then go ahead and enable VSync, okay? If you don't get screen tearing and you want to uncap your FPS so it can go to highest that it can go, disable this. This one over here, unlimited, okay? This you're going to put on 60 for with the settings I just showed you with the video control panel. Put it on 60, this on 2.2, disable this and disable this and say apply. Once you're done with that, you're going to go to quality and then this is your own personal preference. Right now, at this very moment, I'm playing my game at 120 FOV and then this I put on affected. Do not put this on independent, please don't. It, may, maybe it's your own personal preference if you change it to this, but I do recommend putting it on affected. You're going to put this on least, streaming quality on low, obviously. It literally tells you what it does, so just put it on low. This one, you can put on normal. You don't need the game to look absolutely beautiful. You are not playing single-player mode. You are playing multiplayer. You want to destroy people, so I highly recommend putting this on normal. This is how I play my game right now, okay? So just follow my settings. This one over here, normal, okay? A lot of people do change this to about high, so that the game looks a little bit better, like the ground and stuff like that. But to be honest with you, are you focusing on the ground to see how nice it looks? Or are you focusing on enemies when you play the game? Yeah, I was right. So put this on normal and leave it on normal. You want to focus on your enemies, not the ground. Particle quality, you can put this on high. It doesn't do much in the game. doesn't do much with FPS and stuff like that. But you can put it on high or you can put it on low. It's your own personal preference. I keep mine on high. Bullock impacts and sprays. I keep mine enabled. But it's pretty cool to be toxic in game. To show your middle finger or spray people with graffiti. Whatever the case might be. You know, I irritate my friends like that. By graffitiing them completely red with hearts. And then they run around and they're much a target, you know. Anyways, tessellation. You put this on all right now at this very moment put it on all otherwise the game's going to look a little bit weird when you aim down sight or you zoom down a scope all right this is your own personal preference but i highly recommend enabling this i'm pretty sure a lot of people have this enabled this you're going to disable this i will get to just now and then this is a very very big role that i'm going to show you right now okay now for a lot of people out there that don't have nvidia dlss okay and that do have nvidia dlss okay i do so I put mine on maximum or ultra performance, sorry. I put mine on ultra performance for the best FPS in my game, right? A lot of people put this on balanced, so it can be quality and, you know, performance. Um, and then I'm going to apply it. I'm actually just going to show you what it does. So I'm going to apply it. Now I'm doing about 130. So let me just keep my mouse here so it doesn't do anything. 134, as you can see. Now this is in, this is in this menu, right? So 134 is the highest it goes to. So I'm going to put it on quality now. I'm going to go back here. I'm just going to show you what it does. So now it's not even doing 130, as you can see. So now I'm going to put it on performance. Okay. So now it's hitting 143, 144. Now I'm going to put it on ultra performance. And now it's going to do 160. So as you can see, ultra performance for NVIDIA DLSS right now is for the best FPS in your game. Trust me, it's for the best FPS. And then I highly recommend you change this all the way up to 1.00. Don't change this. It's going to make your game look absolutely like horseshit. Don't change this. Put it all the way down. All right. Now, for the people that have NVIDIA DLSS, use this. Now, for the people that don't have NVIDIA DLSS, disable this. Go to anti-analyzing. Put this all the way down. And then have this on. Either on this for good FPS. So, I'm just going to apply these settings so I can actually show you what happens when I do these settings. So, as you can see, I'm not doing that much FPS. I'm doing about 199 right now. So, let's put this on this. Let me just show you what happens when you don't have NVIDIA DLSS, right? As you can see, I'm not even doing 100. I'm doing just almost 100. So I'm going to put this even higher right now. And as you can see, I'm doing about, there we go, 100. Now, I highly do recommend if you are playing your game without NVIDIA DLSS, put it on this, okay? It's for the best for your PC, for the game itself, okay? Now, I, like I said before, I have mine on Ultra Performance. For the people out there that's using the Video DLSS, it's the best. Um, depth of Field, disabled. World Motion Blur, disabled. 
Weapon motion blur disabled. You do not need these things. It's a multiplayer game. You want to kill people. You do not want to see how fancy your gun looks. Anyways. Uh, shadow map resolution low. These two things I enable to make the game look a little bit better. It actually does make the game look a little bit better. But it's your own personal preference. What you do with these two settings right here. Okay. Particle lighting. I put mine on either low or normal, but I keep mine on normal. DirectX Ray Tracing, disable it, do not need it. Ambient Occlusion, disable it. And then Screen Space Reflections, disable it. Right? You're going to say Apply when you copied my settings. Then when you're done, you're going to say Restart Shader Installation, and it's going to restart your shader installation here at the top. And then once that's done, it's going to set the settings for you, and you'll be ready to play the game with really good FPS. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new here, and as always, peace out.